hi my amazing family welcome back to my channel today i am super excited to share with you a cloves green tea you heard me right guys i'm not gonna prepare the tea with the cloves but with the cloves leaves that came from the cloves tree this is super exciting and guys if you want to know how to make it and all the benefits keep watching even though not a lot of people are talking about that but the clothes that we are in love with the clothes that we are using came from a tree cloves are actually the aromatic flower buds of a tree now the question is what about the cloves green leaves the cloves green leaves have a lot of benefits guys i took some time to search about it and i'm telling you it's amazing guys i was wondering why everybody's talking about cloves but what about the cloves tree what about the cloves leaves so this is what i got out of my research cloves leaves have antimicrobial properties when you use cloves leaves tea or you add it to your products it will increase blood flow in the scalp which will promote hair growth and guys, they use cloves leaves to make essential oils. They also use it to make lotion for skin. And they also use it to make hair products. Using cloves leaves on your product can help you with itchy scalp. And also when you use it as a tea rinse, it will hydrate your dry and flaky scalp. All the benefits present in the cloves are also present in the leaves. So guys, I'm excited to try it out. Today, I'm about to use the cloves leaves to prepare a green tea for maximum hydration. Because you know, it is so important to keep our hair hydrated. The same way we need to drink water, to keep our body hydrated for the health of our whole body we also need to apply water to our hair to keep our hair hydrated for the health of our hair hydration comes only when your hair strands become fully saturated with water nothing can hydrate your hair like water because only water can deeply penetrate into your hair strands that's why i know that a lot of you may know about that we do the lco method we use the liquid which is hydration and we come up with the cream which is moisture and we come up with our oil which can also moisturize depending on which oil you're using and seal all the moisture into our hair strands Guys, I quickly try to explain and make a difference between hydration and moisture. I hope that you're not tired of me, right? Because I know a lot of people don't like when people are talking, are talking, they want to just see the treatment. But guys, I think it's important for you to understand the difference so we can have a healthy hair journey. Me personally, this is what I'm doing, educating myself to see if I can grow my hair. You know, I'm on the journey just like you, trying to grow my hair very long. So guys, the knowledge is very important. You know, when you do something, you know why you're doing it, you know the benefits out of it. So it's really, really important. Now let's prepare the cloves green tea rinse for our hair. Here is the cloves leaves guys. This is very exciting. If you want to know where I got them from, I got them from Amazon. You know, we find everything that we are looking for on Amazon. So guys, check out the description box because you will find a link over there that will take you to my Amazon store and you will find the cloves leaves under DIY essentials. As you can see, I'm not really measuring the leaves because I'm about to prepare a tea and then I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of cloves, just few. <laughs> you know I love cloves, it was impossible for me to skip it. And then guys, now I'm about to add four cups of water. Okay. 
after I add my water, I'm just gonna transfer it to the fire for it to boil. Few minutes later, this is how my tea is looking like. It's ready guys, as simple as that. We are all done. Now I'm gonna let it cool down so I can transfer it to my jar and the tea is ready to be used. Guys, I actually put too much leaves. Next time I'm making the tea, I'm not gonna put that much leaves. It was a big waste because it didn't look that much when I was putting the leaves. But after the tea started to boil, I was like, that's too much. So now I know not to put that much. Now, as you can see, I'm just putting some of the tea to my bowl. And then I'm gonna keep the rest in the fridge for next time application time now guys i am going to apply the tea to my hair the first thing that i'm gonna do is to rinse off my hair i'm just rinsing my hair to remove all the oils or moisturizer that i may have in my hair just to be sure that you know the tea really penetrate my hair shrinks I just rinse my hair because my hair is not really dirty but if you think that your hair needs to be washed, wash your hair first and then apply the tea rinse. Or if you don't want to wash your hair, co-wash your hair and then apply the tea rinse. I didn't want to do all that, I just rinse off my hair but you can co-wash or wash your hair if you think that your hair needs it. now my hair is rinsed and my hair follicles are open ready to receive the tea now i'm gonna apply the tea usually when i'm applying a tea rinse i always take the bowl and i just soak my hair into the bowl because i feel like my hair gets more benefits like that because if i just rinse my hair with the tea it will just run over my hair and my hair will not get the benefits you get it guys but when i soak my hair my hair gets all the benefits i give it time to penetrate my hair strength i also apply the tea to my scalp guys and i can tell you it feels amazing on my scalp i really loved it on my scalp guys i'm gonna do this process every week and see what's the result gonna be the clothes challenge is almost over i have only one more week to go guys on june 6 i have to measure my hair and tell you what the result is you will see how many inches of hair i grew guys i'm excited about that because you can see the growth I have a lot of growth. I just don't know how long is that. And I will check it right in front of you guys and see and see how many inches of hair I grew. Okay, guys, so subscribe. You can't miss it. As you can see, I repeat the same process for each part of my hair. I soak my hair in the tea. I apply the tea to my scalp and I keep it there for about five minutes. This is exactly what I did, guys. And after I finished to do that, I just rinse my hair with the tea. Now, guys, I'm just putting a plastic cap because I didn't want to dry my hair too quick. I wanted to leave the tea a little bit more on my hair. So I just put a plastic cap and keep it for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, I am just going to dry my hair. And look guys, look, all that would be on my t-shirt if I didn't put the plastic cap. You see that? Yeah. Now guys, I am just going to dry my hair so I can moisturize my hair. I'm just showing you guys, I'm about to use one of my baby's sheet. I like to dry my hair with baby's swaddle blanket and baby's towel. You know, it's really soft. 
it's not gonna damage my hair or break my hair nothing like that and when i'm drying my hair as you can see i don't pull on my hair i just squeeze my hair so i can get the water out of it you know this is what i always do now i'm just applying my leave-in conditioner this is a clothes leave-in conditioner i will put a link in the description box for you because i have a whole video about it yeah and after that i'm gonna apply my oil and i can say that i am done guys i'm all done if you like the video guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave me a comment share the video guys it will help my channel a lot and i will really appreciate it and if you are not a subscriber please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss another video from me and my amazing family i'm gonna ask you to do the same thing check to see if your bell is on so you can be notified when i post another video okay guys as i always say you know that i love you so so much because there's a lot of people out there that you can sit down and watch but you decided to give me few minutes of your precious time it means the world to me Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.